Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss about how to add I/O module in existing project that we have created in last session. Here, if we click Symmetric 300 station, it will show two items here. One is hardware, another is CPU model number. To add the I/O module, we have to go to hardware. Okay, now click. It will open the hardware catalog in right side and the universal rack 0. Here you can see the number 0 and your rack 0, universal rack 0. In universal rack 0, slot 1 is for power supply. Okay, if you want to add the power supply, you can go symmetric 300 station from the catalog. This is the hardware catalog. This is power supply, PS300 series. So you can add the power supply. See when you click that power supply, it will show green. Means it can be taken that slot one only. If you want to give the power from external source, external power supply to CPU, then you don't need to take this one. Okay. And in slot two, it it is dedicated for the CPU. Slot 2 is for dedicated for CPU. And for 3 is for interface module. You can use interface module in rack your 0, 1 in slot 3, 4, 5, 6. What is interface module? Actually, interface module, see here, here there are element slot means you can use up to 11 module but if you need more io how you can use you need another rack there you can place your input output module so from that new rack to your cpu rack there need to a communication how it will communicate so there is a module name it as an interface module that module can press in 3, 4, 5, 6. That 4 location you can place the interface module for universal rack 0. But position 3 is dedicated for interface module 3. If you want to use place 4, you can use. But 3 is for dedicated. And in place 4, 5, 6, you can use interface module as well as the input module, output module also. See, here you can see the IM. IM means interface module 300 series PLC. And here IM is for sender and this is receiver. Receiving module is used in the another rack. If you use here, see here, if I select here, you can see four different places from three to six you can use but you cannot use this one if i double click okay i'll show first here the universal rack zero place okay now it is universal rack one and that also Position 1 is for power supply, 2 is for PLC CPU. But you already use the PLC CPU in position 2 in universal rack 0. So you don't need to add another CPU in your. Even you can't. It is not possible to add another CPU here. And position 3 is dedicated for the interface module. Okay. Here, if I click 361, it will show here. It is not showing green in universal rack 0. Okay. So, for 360, I am S. This one, this one will be used. Universal rack 0. And 361 can be used for universal rack, additional universal rack. For additional module. But for I am 365 SR. It can be used for sender or receiver. It can be used in rack 0 or even 1, 2, 3. 
so you can add up to that three universal rack you can add up to three more not more than three rack okay so how in that way you can add the more module when you need also you can add the module by using the profibus interface module i will show in other video how to add that okay okay now i am adding this one see this is showing that you can add only in rack 0 that i am s01 can add only 0 okay i am adding here now i will add this one it will show it you can add only that three position so i am selecting it now i will add this one okay now see it connected interface module 360 to interface module 361 there is a built-in cable sales by siemens it is one meter length cable you have to connect interface module 360 to 361 then your communication if you add the uh, i module here it will communicate to your cpu okay now i will add the io module means input module input digital module output digital module or analog input output and for the universal rack io module you have to go to SM module there you can see AI 300 series that means analog input module and that is analog input output both type module and here AO module first I will add DI module okay this one see you can add the IO module available the position it will show as green here i will add this one di 16 so if you click di 16 here it will show the addresses that you can put here by default it will it will take the available lower available address here so it is start from zero you can make it other address if you deselect it you can yes here you can add 10 okay so it will be 10 and 11 because 10 is one byte that has a 8 bit and 11 has a another 8 bit one byte it has a another 8 bit so 8 bit here 8 bit here so you start at this 10 11 and in that is 11 so 8 plus 8 is 16 they are di 16 module okay i'm putting it back zero okay i'll add another digital module here okay see it will take the address as a three two three three so if you want to change the address to your desired address then you can put it here by deselect it okay so i am keep it default no problem because i will not use that universal rack by um, later i will delete this one okay now i will add another module that is do okay here you can see the 24 volt output with point 5 fold 0.5 ampere auxiliary um, auxiliary contact there is no actually auxiliary contact maybe they are inside that module there is uh, opto coupler that opto coupler can give you uh, up to 0.5 ampere current pass through that opto coupler contact okay if you want more ampere then you have to use the relay module okay i am putting it here okay that also i can give the 
here I'll give the address 0 so it start with 0 ok here I'll add the analog input module 1 that 8 bit 12 bit and it start with suppose 300 you you should always uh, separate your digital and analog address you should not use the analog address and digital address uh, in same same way like if you add another input module or digital input module here and suppose i want to use here you can use to address here because you only use the di0 and 1 here di module 1 so next available address is 2 0 and 1 or use here and you can use 2 to 17 because it has the uh, 8 ai 8 ai means every analog input take 2 byte so uh, 8 will take 16 byte so here we have used 0 and 1 so next available is 2 to um, uh, plus 1 it will be 17 yes it will be 17 and if you add another di module here so it will be see it will start with 18 so one input start with 0 and 1 then other di input as a 18 so that is not good so you have to separate your analog input addresses address from the digital input that will good okay here we'll use So it is 2. Okay, now we have to go back to AI input module that is we have set the analog input address. Address we have set address, and there is another option is called input. There we can select this diagnostic interrupt and hardware interrupt. We'll talk about that later when we use the organization block diagnosis interrupt and hardware interrupt organization block okay we'll talk about that and here input module that you can use the measuring time that here voltage four wire current transducer 4 to 20 million supply current transducer two wire transducer okay also resistor thermocouple you can use that type of signal here and which type of signal you um, connect to your module you have to select here otherwise it will not work also there are uh, there there is a um, selector in mo with module that you have to select voltage selector current selector Register selector or thermocouple selector. There is a option in the with the module. You have to select that one also with also in your software. You have to select the type of your signal. If you here if we have select two wire signal that is four to twenty milliamps and that signal zero and one. We have eight input. So first input and second input will work with that and other input we still don't um, configure so you have to configure as your need okay thank you i have already configured that zero one if you need more we will add we will configure later no issue so i will add another module that is AO module 4 AO module if I add here so 
addresses i will use it as a 300 300 and the input type is your voltage or current so here i will use current for 220 milliamps okay even you can deactivate your channel that you don't need to use so you can deactivate okay download okay after the insert your module configure then you have to save and compile it will compile and save if it, it has any error it will show okay this way you can add your input module and address your analog input module or digital input module or analog output or digital output module thank you